All right, guys, it's October 18th, 2016. Got a couple of dreams that I want to get out to you guys today. Um, I had these dreams about a year ago. Um, these dreams are related to the end times and things that are coming and, um, and God's hand of protection uh, through it. Um, these dreams um, are, are very... Um, in detail about what the, the demonic things that are coming and, and the things that are coming to pass soon. Um, and um, the main thing that God wanted me to get out in these dreams, the main message is, is that His hand of protection is on us. Um, and what I want to go through, you guys, is show you that in these dreams. And I want to show you, um, the ref I want to go through the refinement that's going on with the body of Christ right now. There is a refinement going on. Um, in this first dream that I had, I was standing in front of a body of water. I saw the beast, this beast rise up out of the sea. And I'm going to put the scriptures up on the screen for you guys, okay? As I go through this, I'm going to flash the scriptures up. You guys can take a look at them. Okay, we know, you know, in Revelation it talks about the beast coming out of the sea. We know this is the Antichrist. Okay, as this beast was coming out of the sea, um, I went down into the water, you know, kind of fairly deep. And I came back up and it was gone. And immediately I went to another room, okay? And in this room I was with a bunch of people. But there was one person in particular that I was um, drawn to. And when I looked at this, it was a woman. And she was sitting in a fetal position in a chair. And she had been there for days, okay? She had not taken a bath. She had not changed her. She could not do anything, okay? She was in so much fear that all she could do was rock back and forth. And I remember in the dream seeing so much fear. And it just... It amazed me. I've never seen that much fear before in my life. And after I saw this woman, I, I woke up. Okay. All right. So um, when I woke up, you know, I asked the Lord, um, you know, uh, to explain to me, you know, what was going on and the things he was trying to show me in this. And, um, you know, of course, I saw the beast come out of the sea, which is the Antichrist. Okay. We know that he's coming. We know that um, that's what signifies the Antichrist. Uh, in the last days, um, and uh, so I knew that that was coming soon. I knew the Lord was showing that. Okay, in the next scene when I was with the woman, okay, and she was in the fetal position and she was in fear, this was the fear that is going to be among the people, okay, in the time of the Antichrist. We're going to have a time of chaos and fear, okay? There's a lot of people that, there's going to be a lot of demonic things unleashed, and it is going to bring great fear upon people, and that is why it's so important for us to be rooted and grounded in the Lord and be prepared for these times to come um, so we can minister to other people and so we can, you know, so people can be aware that they've got to get rooted and grounded with the Lord. They've got to come to Jesus. Um, it's, it's our salvation for the things that are to come. And to know that through Jesus Christ, He will have His hand of protection over us. Okay, so the Lord wanted to point that out, that when these times come, there will be great fear and chaos. Okay, um, and that dream, like I said, had to do with the Antichrist, um, the reign at that time. Okay, in my second dream, I was in front of a building, um, and it, it could, I'm not for sure what the building was. I just knew that there was, it was a place that I worked out of, and there was other people in it too. It could have just been, um, you know, society itself. And, uh, you know, just a place of a gathering or something. Uh, I just remember that in this dream, I heard these footsteps and they shook the ground. I knew that something was coming and I knew it was big. And, of course, I didn't know it was demonic. And I knew that I needed to get out of there. And this building that was in front of me was, you know, it was probably two or three levels high. So when I went in, I knew I had to go get my stuff. And I went up a flight of stairs. And when I went up these flight of stairs, I went down a hallway. Okay. When I went down this hallway, I saw these people standing up asleep. Okay. We know that is the church. Okay. They're asleep. They have no idea what's going on. They're not going to be prepared at that time. They are going to be clueless as to what's going on around them and what's happening as far as biblical things. These people were standing up with their head down asleep. And I knew when I, and I just passed him and looked at him like, you know, wow, you know, this is coming and you're sleeping, really? You know, but I, I didn't get too distracted by it. I knew that I needed to get my stuff and I knew that I needed to get out of there. 
So as I went out of the building, um, my brother was with me, okay? And But there was other people that I gathered with me as well, and I don't know who all those people were. And I and they gathered with me, and I told them, I said, we got to get out of here. Okay, before we did leave, I, I just stopped in the dream, and I looked around, and people were in chaos. Okay, once again, they were in fear like I've never seen. And, and realize that this thing had not even gotten there yet. Okay, there were people running around, screaming. There were people um, just um, destruction. Um, there was one one person that I did hear say to another person in the dream was, I can't help you. You're just going to have to go to the mental institution. I don't know what to do for you. I've, I've got to, you know, do what i got to do. I mean, it was total chaos, people. I've never seen. These people were really losing their minds. Okay? There was so much fear, and I think demonic torment. They were really, they were really being disturbed. Um, and, and I, the Lord let me see all that before, you know, we, we, we were leaving out of this place. Um, so after I saw all that in that scene, I, I gathered all these people up, including my brother, and I took them out of there. And we went a little ways and we got to a body of water, okay, and it wasn't an ocean or anything. It was like a river. It wasn't a big body of water. But I just knew that we, you know, we needed to get to the other side. But then I did also know that when we did get to the other side, I knew that what was coming, it wouldn't stop it, you know. It was so big that it could it could just come, you know, walk right through it, okay, because this thing that was coming was big, okay, and... Um, um, and, and it was something that is going to be unleashed in the end times demonically. We know that some of these things are bound right now. But God's going to, un, un, um, you know, let them um, come out in the end times, okay? They'll have a reign for a certain time. They'll be unbound from their chains and they'll be let loose. Okay, so we got, we did get across the river, okay? And... and um, I'm sensing in the dream that the Lord made a way for us to get across that river. How we did it, I'm not for sure. But the next scene, we were already across this river. Okay, now remember, I had to gather, I had, you know, uh, people with me. Okay, and I, I don't know who those people were, but some of those people chose to just, at that point after they got over that river, they chose to go their own way. Okay, we can kind of relate this a little bit with Moses. Okay, when, when Moses was ta trying to take him to the promised land. And they were complaining, and God moved, you know, gave them manna, gave them water. That wasn't enough. They want to quail, you know, they would just complain constantly. It was kind of like that, you know, kind of like a scenario like that. Um, that I had explained to these people, okay, it's not a good idea if you don't stay with me. But if you want to go your own way, you know, which, you know, is, is a path to destruction, then, okay, you know, I can't force you to. And so some of these people that were with me, yes, they they went their own way. And really at that point what happened to them, I don't know. But my brother did stay with me, okay, um, which is a good thing, you know. And um, I remember there was a door that appeared behind me and him. And I remember that I was looking across this river and I saw these trees. I knew that thing was going to come through the trees. It was just a matter of time. And a door appeared behind us. And I remember looking over at my brother saying, when that thing comes through, we're going to go through this door back here and go down these stairs because it was a door and the Lord showed me there were stairs. I said, we're going to go through this door and we're going to escape this thing and go out this way. And um, then after that, I woke up. Um, so when I woke up from that dream, I immediately knew that what the Lord was showing me is in these times to come, in these um, you know, they're going to be bad, okay? God is going to make a way of escape for us. And it's just going to come out of nowhere, but God is going to make a way of escape, okay? And I've got scriptures up, okay? God will make a way of escape. You know, all things are possible with Him. All things. You know, with Him, all things are possible. And He will make a way of escape for us. When, you know, we may think we're trapped, we may think that, you know, that we um, can't get away. But no, the Lord reassured me when I woke up from that dream, oh, I will make a way of escape for you. And the Lord, you know, last night, the Lord was just telling me, 
I am doing a refinement right now. Okay? I'm doing a refinement like silver. Okay? And we know that the refinement of silver is a very, very... Um, it's quite a process, okay, to refine silver. Okay? It, 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 it's a very precise um, process. Um, and it can be a time-consuming process, and you have to be very careful with it. But that is the refinement that God is, that, you know, He's doing with us right now for these times that are to come. That is the refinement that is required in these times for the things that we are going to be faced with, okay, in these times to come. Um, and, and I will confirm that, too, also, because I had a dream last night, and my hair was silver. I had long, beautiful long hair. And I had the silver in my hair. And when I woke up, I knew that the Lord was once again, I'm refining you as silver. And I've got the scripture up, okay? Refining as silver. And really, what the refinement of silver is that God does with us is He is making us stronger. He takes us through that refinement of taking all the bad things, all the sinful things, all the bad things in our lives, okay? All the things that are of unrighteousness and uncleanliness. He's taking all that. He's refining it into something for Him, into something that's strong, into something that will be able to withstand the things that are to come, and we'll know who God is. We'll know who our God is. We are being refined to be able to withstand this war that's, that's coming that we're going to have to fight. And yes, so if you guys are going through a wilderness or, you know, you've been in a season for a long time, Yes, believe me, I understand. It can wear you out and you get tired. But God will give you the strength to get through it. The wilderness is for a reason. Your seasons are for a reason. You may have something going on and you're not healed yet. Okay, there's a reason, okay? God's taken us through something. He wants us to, you know, through it. We learn a lot about God and we know who God is by what? Experience. It's experience is how we know who God is. We can read the Word. Okay? And when I got when I first got saved, yeah, I read the Word. But I really didn't know who God was until I experienced God. Until I went through my trials and tribulations. Until I saw God work in my life from experience. That's when I knew who God was. And that is the experience that we take to other people, that we minister to people. So that was what I wanted to bring out to you guys is, is the refinement that God is doing right now. Okay, it's a great refinement. Okay, just like silver. Um, and we need to be aware right now and stay in the spirit of what's going on and what season we're in. Um, and there's a lot going on. But like I said, don't get into a spirit of fear. God's got his hand on us. He'll make a way of escape. And the Holy Spirit will give us all the answers, the truth, and the understanding that we need for these times to come. And um, I really think the Lord wanted me to get that out to you guys. Um, very important. And um, like I said, I had these dreams a year ago, but the Lord just put it on my heart last night to get these dreams out and kind of give you guys, you know, a little bit of detail of what the Lord was showing me. Um, and um, it's good stuff, guys. It's good stuff. And um, so that's what I wanted to get out to you guys today. Um, if I get anything else today... Um, I will, um, you know, get it out to you guys. And um, hopefully I can get to the sunset this evening um, and get some pictures for you guys. They have been starting to chemtrail right a little bit before sunset. Um, so they did that yesterday. Um, but I will try to get some pictures for you guys tonight, um, this evening. So I'm always praying for you guys. I love you guys. Stay strong. Listen to the Spirit. Seek God diligently. Seek the Lord with all your heart. We're in the times of refinement and we got to stay alert. So, all right. So stay strong. Ears open, eyes open, and always eyes to the skies. And I will talk to you guys soon.